they are here and they're queer. LOL. This video is about giants, Nephilim hybrids. I'm just going to put in my two cents. I think that uh, giants or the fallen angel productions are here. They're just not in the same form, but they look very... They have similar qualities, so I doubt we're going to see, you know, giants. But we are going to see giants from the Nephilim. And this is just my... Uh, Two cents. I was inspired to do this from uh, many debates and uh, many years of thinking about this. They are here and they are queer. Strange, peculiar, centric, oblique, off-center, oblique, perverse, odd. <laughs> there, there's not twerking, but I think they twerk. They twist. See, to twist. And as we all know, that's what an attorney is, lawyers. Woe unto ye lawyers. Luke uh, eleven fifty two, I think it is. They twist. And uh, I won't even get into the hamas right there, but uh, well, I'll briefly touch on it in this little series. But uh, to prove my point, I want to go back here and see in Genesis 6 what was going on. Uh, Genesis 6, 5. Turn with me in your Bibles. And God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth. The wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he made man on the earth. And it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created to face the earth. Both man and the beast and the creeping things and the fowls of the air made them. Let me see what I put down on my nose too. Uh, in my humble opinion, that shows what becomes of men when we see all the productions that we do from the fallen ones. Our hearts become evil continually. All the sin we have, uh, all the sins that we have rights to, you know, we have rights. I've got rights. Uh, look at what we build it. Let me say, I didn't pull that one up. And I am just, just a bumbling idiot here. Next verse. And the next verse. Why don't I just use these tools right here? There we go. Genesis 6, 12. Go. Genesis 6, 12. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupted. All flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Uh, it didn't say all men, but uh, only, but it's all flesh. Now, what was doing that? It was most likely, as many say, the fallen ones, perverting man and perverting animals. and Maybe they did create hybrids. Or maybe man was just playing. Either way, it was from fallen one uh, influence. I believe there's strong enough case for that. Uh, it had corrupted his way up on the earth. And if you go to 13, And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence through them. It seems later it's... Uh, it's, uh, what did I write down? It's come, it seems later it's commanded that there's no hanky-panky with animals because that's what the fallen did. I think it's in Leviticus or later on you'll see that they stress don't have sex with the animals and do a lot of, uh, you know, mingling because much of our influences as men especially we have uh, sometimes these desires that are fleshly desires, and they don't necessarily come from uh, uh, the Lord God. Well, they do, but they, they can, but uh, they can be, you know, people back then, you know, they were crazy. Now let's go to Nimrod. Nimrod. 
Genesis number 10, verse 8. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. If you go to, uh, let me see right here, 10.9. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. So was he just a good, like, hunter? Or what was he hunting? A mighty hunter before the Lord. I think he was hunting souls, support, constituents, uh, you know, to be part of his uh, his warped thinking. You know, he was a very influential fella, uh, almost wizard-like, you know, probably a good speaker, like a politician. Uh, proof of this is uh, found in uh, Genesis uh, 11, Genesis 11. And the whole earth was one language and one speech. The whole earth was one language and one speech. Uh, where is this one language? Surely they were all mixed, as it appears so. They all weren't clones of each other. One language, city, buildings, hmm. 11 9. Let's go to 11 9. I'm going to tell you what, if I ever figure this computer out and how to be productive, let's. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. They were scattered abroad into various cities, yet each city is still one language. So how are the Nephilim giants still here today? Or what are they? What did they what are they doing? Uh, hey, answer, they're not making giants of the humanoid kind. The giants today are corporate government entities productions. Uh, if y'all go to look at the EEOC, Title Seven, Civil Rights Act of 1964, you'll see that that's being used to, I guess you could say as a cesspool. Uh, no discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Huh. Sounds very familiar, doesn't it, Nimrod? The sex, male and female, is under attack. Uh, fallen angels influence as uh, as was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Turn the page. Now let's look at seventeen twenty eight. Likewise. Also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Who? Who is they? Well, I'll let y'all go back and read that story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Because they were doing unnatural like things. They were marrying, they were given rights and celebrating their freedoms and it's just liberty everywhere. Just, if you can see it, jump on it, baby. Do it in public. Show them how many rights you got and how liberated you are. and You know, just bring back the 60s in a way, you know. If it feels good, do it. Anyway, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they began, they, so they planted, they built it. They, here it is, they planted they builded. Hello? Nimrod? Builded? Cities? Towers? Homes? Anyway? 
The previous shows how a government corporation, how influential they can be on the public and private. Luke 17, 29. Uh, same event, almost as a flood, as far as wiping them all out. Uh, Luke 17, 32. Remember Lot's wife, because she looked back. You know, maybe they, I often said that many a times. Maybe... Maybe Sodom and Gomorrah had the best uh, nail, nail salons and uh, the fine dining cuisine. And, you know, she got comfortable in that lifestyle. It was okay. Just be, just, just, it's okay. They got good schools here, you know, best education or something. I, I don't know. Maybe it's that feminine spirit that uh, uh, Baphomet has. And that's why uh, some believe that. Satan went to uh, Eve first because they could relate, you know. A male and female character and women often have same interests. So, now you go, girl. You, 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 you know what? I'll let y'all figure that one out. What's going on there? And uh, Luke seventeen thirty seven. And the answer is in the hand of the Lord. And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. And I wonder if that means the eagles as in a dollar bill, like the eagle will fly, and the eagle nations, people who use that logo, you know, they, it's giving you a sign there that uh, the eagles are, uh, you know, I don't know how to explain that, but uh, anyway, I think I'll explain it later. Vultures, the vultures seeking the, I think that was defined, eagles was defined as vultures. Uh, they're gathered together to seek the souls of men. They want to pluck you dry. Or pluck, pluck everything out. Matthew 24 and 37. I didn't pull it up. And I won't go there, but I'll read it. But as in the days of Noah, so shall it also be. Back to the government equal rights scheme. They build cities. They have one language in their cities and towers. They exalt their views above God. They do most uh, any evil for money and power. Politicians, corporate CEOs, founders, men of renown, Stars in sports, Hollywood, all can influence the masses to where most all think it's okay. It's uh, it's not a sin because government says I have rights. They help fuel this sin with the uh, with the uh, one catch uh, word called jobs. It's the economy, stupid. Anyway, Nephilim offspring, the giants are everywhere. Corporations devouring the land, the workers, the sanctity of life. These giants fatten up the public, so later it can fatten itself. Just like Genesis 6 giants eating men, as uh, some of them say, they, you know, they just eat up all the resources. Now, I want to go to the name Goliath. Goliath was a different kind of uh, giant in those days as far as description goes. I think Goliath is the only one described with six fingers and six toes and double sets of teeth. But uh, think about it. 1 Samuel 17.4. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. That's uh, six times five is 30. Say nine, nine feet tall. And uh, I don't know what a span is, unless it's something you get with a spick and span when you clean your dishes. That's all I know. Uh, no offense to the Mexican brethren. There's just spick and span was a thing back in the day. Uh, but if you take the name Goliath, uh, Goliath, go lieth, go lie, go lieth. If you flip back to the word queer to twist, you twist things or, you know, you twist things, you manipulate words or you influence people by twisting. You lie. You're an attorney. Uh, believe me, these governments and corporations all have attorneys, but, uh, we can see through them, and uh, if you come at them in the name of the Lord, you you can take them down, but I won't go into that. Um, 
Think about that. 1 Samuel 17, 4. Went out a champion, perhaps a public defender or judicial officer, to scare the masses from resisting. Maybe he was on TV. I don't know. They often put stuff on TV when they want the people to uh, lose focus or be diverted. And, you know, it's like a, throw out a little pebble here and the people flock to that so they don't come over here and get you, you know. It's a diversion tactic. So as we find later, David, uh, David, what? 24. Let's go down here to 24. And all the men of the father fled and never swore for it. David asked, uh, David asked a, a question. Let's say 24. Uh, First Samuel. In the middle, I've seen this man come up and the king of riches and riches. And David spoke to the man stood by saying, Here we go. David asked, uh, What was that? Is there not a cause? His brother Eliab up here is trying to stop him. You know, that's how we all do as uh, people around you. Your closest friends and family, like your enemies in your own household, they'll try to stop you because they've been so scared of the the giants and the Goliaths for so long. You know, it's just to live to fight another day, which means live to uh, feed the beast another day. And... Uh, is there not a cause? Let me turn over this page here in conclusion. This is all about giants and showing you how they're everywhere. The, the production of uh, fallen angels and uh, humans or men. How we're evil continually. In conclusion, uh, cities and... No, let me go over here first. I missed it where, well, where was it at? Goliath was actually referred to as a man. Uh, yeah, that's it. 1724, was it? Goliath was referred to as a man there. That was kind of interesting. In conclusion, cities, government corporations, media, Hollywood, put their champions, as we saw over there in the, you know, the story of Goliath, he was a champion uh, on display to suppress the truth and to scare people or to convince people it's okay. Uh, to suppress the truth, the children of God, uh, they try to stunt the growth of his children and capture the hearts and minds so you can be used up. In fact, one of their champions was formerly on a Wheaties box. And today is now a different sex. And I put there in parentheses, Nephilim uh, influence. The, uh, you know, that Wheaties box fella, person, woman. Uh, that's Nephilim influence. Go back to the days of Lot. It's in the days of Lot, Sodom and Gomorrah. You know. You know what I mean? People all confused about their Seth. By the way, Midnight Ride has a good show on this, like Los Angeles, uh, Fallen, the City of Fallen. I'll try to link it below. And yes, sin corrupts the blood DNA, I believe. Sorry, Stephen Quayle. We'd see, obviously, 36-foot-tall giants uh, coming, uh, coming at us, you know. The modern versions snook up on us subtly, like their father does, the father of the devil. This is why most cities... Corporate government towns will be shaken. As uh, as Revelation shows, as Nimrod shows, as Sodom and Gomorrah shows, due to their wickedness, which hunts for the souls, voters support customers. I'm going to conclude with this uh, Revelation 8.13. 13. Revelation 18.10. Standing afar off, for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon. See, there's a city. That's what they builded, cities. That mighty city. For 
in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise. I perceive that's what Sodom and Gomorrah had. They had, they had some good stores, buddy. It's enough to make Lot's wife turn around. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm really going to miss that Sally's Beauty Supply. Oh, yeah. That's, probably what, that, that's what she was thinking, I'm thinking. But the merchandise of gold and silver and stones and pearl, linen, purple. Oh, all right. Why do they get to take purple? And like, just color purple or purple? Just purple. What's purple? Purple, purple? Uh, wood. And here we go, Nimrod. Oh, there's wheat. They're going to miss their Wheaties. They're going to miss their uh, champions on the box of Wheaties. And beasts and sheep and chariots and slaves and the souls of men. That's what they're hunting, folks. They get people trapped in this city government mindset. We're all equal opportunity here. Come on in. We all speak the same language. It's equal opportunity sin. You have licentious rights. Right. Revelation 2.20, finally, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, little Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach, look at this, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Folks, that right there is not just food but that's anything you consume well I mean I'm not adding words to God but it's anything you consume you take in you digest it through your mind your ears your body and uh, if you don't if you're not prayed up over it and pray over it it can uh, it can capture your mind you know so you know you'll be out want to go to a certain club or drink and party and it's okay because well, you've been consuming Jezebel's products all the whole time. Even though you're saved, this woman, this thing can influence you. Be careful. Which calleth herself a prophet to teach. And so many, many people out there have learned and been fed by Jezebel. So, uh, that's about all I got. But, uh, Again, I do think the giants are here. Uh, never really left. They won't. We won't leave until. I mean, it takes on different forms, you know. The fallen angel technology. Uh, the influences, but they come in various forms as giants. And uh, we become corrupt and want to build cities and. Just build houses and let, let them build houses. Let them eat cake. You know. In fact, uh, some of that's related to some of that junk food, fast food restaurants and corporations popping up everywhere. You can barely throw a rock anymore where I live without hitting a corporation. And, and as long as they call it food, it's okay, you know. But, uh, yeah, think on them giants and the cities and the one language it's it's pretty much here uh, one world order new world order how each city tries to communicate with another city with finances and their codes and everyone has rights and if my officer comes to your city they you know you get whatever my policy so the giants are here, and the only way to resist them is like David. Again, go back, you know, when he threw off all that stuff they told you you got to do to be saved, and he just said, uh, this is too complicated, basically. I come at you in the name of the Lord. That's all I need, just a smooth stone.